Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 39. In the ninth year of Sidik Yahu, king of Yahuda, in the tenth month came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, and all his army against Jerusalem, and they besieged it. And in the eleventh year of Sidik Yahu, in the fourth month, the ninth day of the month, the city was broken up. And all the princes of the king of Babel came in and sat in the middle gate, even Negral, Shar, Etzer, Kamgar, Nebu, Sachem, Kim, Rav, Karik, Nergal, Shar, Etzer, Rav, Mag, with all the remnant of the princes of the king of Babel. And it came to pass that when Sidik Kiahu, the king of Yahuda, saw them and all the men of war, then they fled and went forth out of the city by night, by the way of the king's garden, by the gate betwixt the two walls. And he went out the way of the plain. But the Kazdim army pursued after them and overtook Eth Sidik Yahu in the plains of Yericho. And when they had taken him, they brought him up to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, to Rivla, in the land of Hamath, where he gave judgment upon him. Then the king of Babel slew at the sons of Sirik Kiyahu in Rivla before his eyes. Also the king of Babel slew at all the nobles of Yahuda. Moreover, he put out at Sirik Kiyahu's eyes and bound him with chains to carry him to Babel. And the Kazdim burned at the king's house, and at the houses of the people with fire, and broke down at the walls of Yerushalayim. Then Nebuzar Adan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive into Babel at the remnant of the people that remained in the city, and at those that fell away that fell to him, with at the rest of the people that remained. But Nebuzar Adan, the captain of the guard, left of the poor of the people, which had nothing, in the land of Yahuda, and gave them vineyards and fields at the same time. Now Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, gave charge concerning Yirmiyahu to Nebuzar Adan, the captain of the guard, saying, Take him and look well to him, and do him no harm, but do unto him even as he shall say unto you. So Nebuzar Adan, the captain of the guard, sent, and Nebuchazazban Rav Harik, and Nigral, rather Nugal Shar Atzer, Rav Mag, and all the king of Babel's princes, even they sent and took Eth Yirmiyahu out of the court of the prison and committed him unto Gedaliahu, the son of Achicham, the son of Shaphan, that he should carry him home. So he dwelt among the people. Now the word of Yahuwah came unto Yirmiyahu while he was shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Go and speak to Eved Melech, the Cushi, saying, Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yashara'el, Behold, I will bring eth my words upon this city for evil, and not for good, and they shall be accomplished in that day before you. But I will deliver you in that day, says Yahuwah, and you shall not be given into the hand of the men of whom you are afraid, for I will surely deliver you. And you shall not fall by the sword, but your life shall be for a prey unto you, because you have put your trust in me, says Yahweh.